All right, we're recording. Hi, it's Marina. And this is the plan with me for July 12th. I'm here, I'm doing it again, planning again with my husband. He's also here. Say hi, husband. Hi, husband. He's in the background doing his thing. Here's, of course, the tools of my trade. There's been one minor change, which is that I replaced the blend with this inner gel. Uh, RTX, RDX, needle tip 03. It's not a Kleina, but it was at, it was at Office Depot. So I got it and it's performed pretty well. I like it so far. I've only started using it today. So we'll see what happens in the future, but let's look back at my one that I set up last week. We're like right around here. And then the week before, I did stop recording. I just stopped recording at a certain point. Um, but yeah, so let's put that over there. And, oops, I almost forgot. I need my computer open so I can uh, look at the calendar. So I have to like get it open. Er Sorry, everybody, about that. Let's see, Would we you still... like more hot dogs next week? I don't care. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the alternative that's not hot dogs? Is there one? No, it's hot dogs or nothing. <laughs> you eat hot dogs or you don't <laughs> eat at all. Okay, I know that's not true. Okay, sorry, I just had to stand up to check to make sure it's... I guess my mm -hmm. question is, will you experience more than the normal displeasure at the thought of eating food, at the thought of eating hot dogs? Probably not. If we get different hot dogs, though. Yeah, well, I was going to get these beef frankfurters. Those look better, yeah. Those Coney dogs you got were just sort of like... Meh. They were like bland. They were okay. I think they probably needed to be cooked a little differently and probably have different toppings. Like, I think they're probably a hot dog that would be good if you put a bunch of shit on it. Like, mm. if it had, like, chili or, like, a bunch of cheese, some sour cream, some onions, some relish. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they're sort of a base dog. Okay, book club. Do 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 do. It's been a good week in voice day, but actually, oh yeah. Okay, I knew there was something happening. There. Excellent. And then this. There. And this one. At four. Cool. Friday, pretty much empty. And then family Zoom on Sunday. Okay. How did you feel about those pita chips? I like, didn't like them. <laughs> I wanted to say I liked them because they looked cool. It's fair, you don't have to like them. I wasn't crazy about them either. I felt like they just, if they had like just a little bit more flavor, yeah, they had no flavor. They were like... I mean, they were literal pita chips. It was like, we took a pita, we turned it into a chip. That was, It was exactly what it says on the tin. It's just what it says on the tin was not actually that great. Yeah, like, um, I like it when maybe they put some, like, olive oil and salt on the pita chip. I agree. Hmm... Might see 
about this. I might just have the same, I'll be at the same place. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, I should draw my lines. I'm gonna use my inner gel. It's weird that they don't put it on the pen, but they put it on the on the case or the what's it called? The uh, where is it? Here it is. Here's what it what this guy is. The inner gel RTX and extra fine. So, so far so good as a writing experience. But yeah, so let's draw my lines. I'm gonna stand up so I can see these better. Cause this is fairly dark. But yeah, I liked, I like the, I like pita chips. I like the idea of pita chips. I also really liked that hummus. You still have it. <laughs> I, I know, I, I haven't eaten all of it, but I really liked it. I'm yeah, really happy. I liked it too. I just wanted a better chip. I wanted I'm a better chip. Can, I'm probably going to see if I can get some better chips like at the, the co-op. Okay, and maybe like some baby carrots to eat with the pita oh. chips? Well, they, uh, Alpen Rose also sells baby carrots. Okay, yeah. Chuck some baby carrots in that motherfucker. And what else? Like, uh... Celery. Was celery one of the things we threw away yesterday? Yes. A basically uneaten celery. <laughs> it got... Y'all, we were feeding the dogs. We feed the dogs as raw food. And uh, their raw food fucking broke. Mm. And got delicious chicken water. Turkey water. Turkey water. On all our fucking vegetables. So we had to throw them all away. So... Do you want bland Midwest baby carrots or cool gay baby carrots? What? You know what? I actually want the Midwest baby carrots because those, there's a chance that you get a really delicious baby carrot in those multicolored baby carrot packs, but there's a higher chance <laughs> that you get a bad baby carrot. That you carrot. get gross ones. Yeah. Mm, fair. It's too much. If I have to live under capitalism, at least I demand consistency in my carrots. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, they sell a product here called Organic Celery Heart to count. Mm. Does it look like celery? Well, they've got a picture of celery. <laughs> oh, wow. Reviews are bad. No one likes it. The package of celery had two small stalks about six inches long. The label said it was a pound package, but it weighed 10 ounces. Mm. Very small stalks. Not a good value. I don't need, I don't no, need. it's it. not the size of the stock that matters. It is though, for celery. The only time the size of the stock matters is if you are celery. Remember that, boys and girls. Yeah, that sounds like it's, if I can put celery on my shopping list if you want celery. Um, yeah, I keep trying to make celery happen. All right, it's on there. Cool. You better not waste that two dollars I'm gonna spend on celery. <laughs> <laughs> celery is a good vehicle for hummus or ranch or things like that. I couldn't remember what the twirly pasta is actually called, so I just wrote it down as wiggle pasta. Wiggle pasta. Wiggle pasta. I'm trying to do a new thing starting next, starting on the 20th, where I'm going to go live on YouTube and just work and see if anybody wants to come and join me. Cool. Yeah. And then book club. Oh, I have to read the rest of my like emergent strategy. Because Emergent Strategy Book Club is this Sunday. And I haven't read everything. 
11 a.m. Now that I have multiple recurring comms meetings, I have to start labeling them. Oh no. <laughs> Happy hour at 5.30. Need to do another brunch happy hour soonish. Oh, I also want to record and then plan with me. I really like doing planning like this with you, husband, yeah. hanging out and like talking. Cool. Cause before I was just talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. And I get sidetracked, and it that would be, be weird. I mean, I don't mind talking to myself, but I'm always like, the people listening to this are probably so bored. I mean. In most of those planning videos, aren't people talking to themselves? A lot of the times they speed it up, which I'm not going to do. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like cheating. Right? And it also always seems, I don't know, it irritates me when I realize that the video and sound aren't actually synced to each other on things. They're just pretending to sync. <laughs> I'm going to move this <coughs> down to 5. Oh, shit. No, 4.30. Wait. I'm doing this too far in advance. Now I'm going to move this down to 4.30. This is our plan with me. And then I'm going to invite you to it because I'm enjoying this. Cool. Add guests. Have you... Have you told your listeners about the amazing pickles? Oh, the what are they called? Bubbies? They are Bubbies. Bubbies bread and butter chips. They're so good, y'all. They are, I shit you not, the best pickle I've ever tasted. They're just like super refreshing and they're sweet and they're tangy. They're so good. I mean, generally I feel Bubbies supplies a good pickle. Yes. Um... Apparently, they also do sauerkraut and dill relish. Mm. I don't know if you have interest in any of those things. I need to do this. I need to have a snack on Friday. Don't we? I can't reschedule this event. Oh, I guess that's your event. It's because it's my event. So, every other Friday, I have therapy oh here I'll just move this one down I'll move them all I'll move them all so now we'll do plan with me at five perfect we can have snack and then plan with me Bubby's bread butter pickles the best fucking pickle you were ever in Do how long have we been recording? Fourteen minutes, nice. How long do you usually go? Like thirty minutes. Hmm. And I'm almost done. Nice. I am not anywhere near done. Well, what happens usually with this? Like what happened last week is I was done filming, and you were like, "I'm not anywhere near done." But then by the time I had like you know, posted everything and like written descriptions and everything, you were done. Mm. And I was, I had a little bit more to do. Gotcha. So.
And then our friend Anna is coming over. Is that this weekend? No, the 24th. Oh, okay. It's a ways out. And then budgeting. Although I want to do a budget this weekend too, but it can just be a refresher. I'm not going to use those fucking calculator stickers because I swear to God, those things are cursed. Why? Whenever I put a calculator sticker when I'm going to do the budget, it doesn't happen. Dun, 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 dun. It's not that I'm avoiding my responsibilities. It's the calculator sticker's fault. Mm. Clearly. I sense a little bit of sarcasm here. Okay, this has got to be moved. What? I have our newsletter call on a Sunday. <laughs> Yikes. That's the wrong day. All right, so here's the coming week. Here's the next week. Let's put a little weekend decor. Oh, sorry, dear. Did I kick you? Yeah, but it's mostly a surprise rather than pain. I think this star would go great with the the color scheme that I have. So let's measure this. This one. Just cut right up the crotch of that star. What sauce? Pasta sauce. Mmm. They're gonna show me a bunch of shit that is definitely not pasta sauce. <laughs> like what? Tamari. Tamari? What? Why would you put tamari on pasta? <clears throat> Ask Barber World Foods, not me. Barber World Foods. Yeah, so far their selection is not blowing me away. Who's Barber World Foods? They're another store that's available on Instacart. And I thought maybe I'd give them a shot, but they have, they got my bubbies for like a dollar fifty cheaper. Mm. But I don't really know anything about them. And there's part of me that's like, you know, I'd rather just buy from the co-op because the co-op is like a cool local organization. Yeah, and you don't know who these other people are. Yeah, Barber is local. But mm -hmm. I don't really know that much about them. Gotcha. Do I still have weekend stickers from Ivory Paper? I don't think so. I don't think so. Boop. Boop. All right. Let's use these Studio 1005 weekend stickers. We can use a nice cool blue green. Dirt. Just put it right there. Subtle. That's what I'm about. Mm. Don't laugh. Don't judge. That wasn't really a laugh. That was a judgmental moan. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Belcher. I mean... If the shoe fits. You know? If the bra fits. I don't really know if I'm Tina, to be honest. I feel like... Like, I'm probably Jean. Jean? Mm, maybe. You're, yeah, you are kind of a Jean. Somewhere in between Jean and Bob. Oh my god. Okay, my book book thingy, my book, what's it? Yeah. Fell under the lift thing on my desk. Oh no. And I can't get it out. Well, that legitimately sucks. Okay, here. Ah, now it's on the floor. Fuck. Oh no. All right, well, bye everyone. <laughs>